about grid so till now we have seen a lot of topics related to web driver right so uh, locator techniques frames window handling pop ups and everything we have seen right but you observe one thing we need, we ran the scripts one at a time till now okay when i talked about framework using test ng i talked about batch te batch testing right do you remember like if you have five scripts i will give the five scripts to test ng xml so that they will run in batch like after one second will start after second third will start like that so we missed one concept that is how to run scripts in parallel okay how to, if you have 100 test cases so, so after one second one after that third one so you will take uh, nearly some 100 into 5 500 minutes of your time but if you have 100 machines at your home like 100 machines at your workplace so why can't you distribute one test to one machine and you can complete all the things in just 100 minutes okay that means parallel testing running the n number of scripts parallelly at a time so scripts will start okay from that concept grid has been emerged basically selenium grid is nothing but a parallel testing to run scripts in parallelly uh, n number of scripts in parallel that's what the first foremost basic thing to know about grid we can run more than one scripts we can start running that more than one test case at a time either from single machine or in multiple machine so what is this multiple machines so i just explain you one architecture okay this is an architecture so this is a little bit confusing selenium grid is a little bit confusing but i'll make you the things very clear please listen each and every sentence from what i say okay see this architecture you have some five test cases okay some five test cases you have assume you have 50 or some 100 that's for example sample i'm telling you need have five test cases you go and you need to run all the test cases at a time okay all the test cases should start at a time so what you are going to do all five test cases information you will mention in test ng xml files so as i mentioned in framework class how to uh, import test case into xml file right so when you import five test cases in test ng xml file and when you run this xml file so what this is a grid architecture there is a one server called hub hub receives this test ng xml when this receives the test ng xml it will see okay i have five test cases in xml file so what it will do is it will distribute the tests into across multiple machines or across multiple nodes what is this node okay we'll see now step by step what is hub and what is node we'll see and later i'll come back to this architecture and i'll explain you how the grid works right so basically hub is a central point okay where the, it receives the test request so when we run something first of all hub receives the information so it will if i have 100 test cases i'll go and write 100 test cases in test ng xml file okay so first of all hub receives the information from test ng xml file okay there are totally 100 test cases right it will keep it with it the other topic is node node is nothing but a one point where we can connect it to server okay for example if i start three nodes and i have to register that, that node to hub so node is responsible to execute the script right node is something which is responsible to execute the script but prerequisite is you need to register that node with an hub okay now in this architecture what i have done totally i took three nodes okay one on my local pc okay assume three nodes in same pc some three nodes i have created and i have registered with the hub that means hub knows that okay now i have three nodes which are capability to, to run the test cases right so when it receives the five test cases from test ng xml file it will assign one each of five to all the nodes whatever it have it will check how many nodes i have if it has two it will assign two test cases to no two nodes 
so that two will start executing at a time if you have some five nodes five test cases will start at a time okay so node is something which executes the test cases for that we need to register it with the central point hub okay this is how the grip architecture works you, you need to register the nodes with hub and then only hub will come to know okay i have my you know my machines ready to execute so it will distribute the job to the set of nodes right if you go back to scene and you see so how to run scripts in parallel in different machines and all, all we'll see step by step now we'll just learn configuration of grid okay this is how this is the node hub here and these two are nodes assume so whenever it receives the request from web driver some four are running four or five test cases for example two we assume so it will check how many nodes i have so it will have two nodes so one test case it will assign to one node another test case it will assign to one node and this node is like our driver it is responsible to start the test case so two nodes will start executing the test case now you may get one now if i have some six test cases we we'll go back to architectures right now i have received five test cases hub receives five test cases and it will check for it nodes it has three nodes right then how it will do right it will assign one to this node and one to this node and one to this node and remaining two are is there right two left that doesn't mean you need to start again two other nodes one most thing you have to remember is a node have the capability to start five firefox browsers things seems to be confusing but when time pass down you will get very clear about this five chrome browsers one internet explorer right so one node have capability of starting five firefox browsers five chrome browsers and one internet explorer that means if your script says out of five test cases three it should have to run in firefox then one two three it will assign okay still to remain but each node has capability of handling five browsers at a time so only one is full now out of five hub has used only one instance out of five instances of single node so remaining four or three right so remaining two it will pick in a round robin way okay so that's all hub headache how will it assign or else that's all hub will take care how it assign to node and all okay that means one test can cap up handle 11 instances at a time one node can handle 11 test cases at a time in that test cases, five Firefox, five Chrome, and one IE. That means 11 test cases you can start at a time in your machine or in multiple machines also. This is what the architecture is. So, hub, so I'll just tell you once again whenever the hub, we need to start a central point called hub. Uh, we'll see the basic, okay. The hub is central point that will receive all the test requests. And distribute them to the nodes yes this is the central point where it will receive the test all the test requests how many i want to execute and all and it will this the job of this is to distribute to the nodes which are registered to this hub what is node okay node is responsible to start this program test case so whenever you create the node create the node and go and register with the hub so hub will come to know okay i have the resource to handle one test case okay one node again i'm repeating one node have the capability of handling five firefox instances five chrome instances and one internet explorer instances okay so so you may now you can start if you have three tests to run parallel there is not required to have to start three nodes start one node enough because it can handle 11 instances Go and start node and create one Firefox, one Chrome, and one IE, and just run. Three at a time browsers will open in your machine, and each test case will execute as per browser requirement. Okay, so whenever you want to work with the grid, 
you need to have an xml file where you will write information about all the test cases and you need to start the hub from the command prompt and you need to start the node okay and you need to register the node with the hub and you need to start the coding so this architecture you need to build to run the test parallelly now for example uh, one more thing so why if one node have the capability of handling 11 instances why to start each node in separate machine so i'll tell you in practically where the grid uses in industries so for example i have some 40 vms 40 virtual machines i have in my in my place as in some company x company there are 40 vms available 40 virtual machines vms uh, ip address so you have 100 test cases with you right in one vm you will start the hub okay and re remaining 39 vms you will start the node and while starting the node you will register with the hub in that 39 vms so how to register with the hub that all i'll tell you it's very simple just one command we have to give okay in one there are 40 vms assume that in vm number 1 you started the hub central point and remaining 39 vms you started the node and you registered with the hub which is located in the first vm right and you write your uh, web driver code and all configuration and run the code from first vm and write 40 test cases into it and give to xml file and run okay so 40 test cases each in single vm in 40 vms 40 test cases will start running that means in 5 minutes 40 test cases will be executed some duration not like serially back in parallelly right so if there are some 80 after 40 again i mean it will be in uh, waiting once it finish once the node is free again other will come like that in that way so in, we can we even we can run the scripts parallelly in multiple machines also or if you feel that if you have some five tests and if you want to run all five tests locally even you can start five tests parallelly locally locally also so sometimes you need to test some test case uh, in firefox 14 version and 15 version then what you will do you can't do it locally right two test cases so you have if you install firefox 14 then you can't test the same thing in your machine in firefox you need to deinstall again and you have to install firefox 15 and do and if suddenly in some other vm if there is 15 you can schedule the script in such a way that in that vm start go and start the node and run it so in firefox 14 it will run in your machine and in firefox 15 it will run in other machine same test case okay if you want to run in different versions you can't use same system you need to deinstall that version again you have to install the version again new version and then you have to proceed so this is one of the advantage like you then may ask you in interview like so why need why to start why to run scripts in multiple machines so some like this and, and other one is uh, performance issue if you have five test cases you can write with a single node as i told you single node have capability of level instances so why to create 11 nodes in 11 vms why can't i run all 11 test cases in a single machine parallelly yes you can do it but see the time consuming the net speed and everything how a resource will consume if 11 browsers got opened in your system so that is also a catch here so same thing if it's have executed in 11 different vms the performance issues very less compared to own local machine which you have to run 11 at a time so if you have the because in it industry especially you know in automation uh, regressions in frameworks you will have a lot of vms some 40 to 50 vms will be available will be available to you in practical so you can keep scheduling in the night and you can come back in the morning and you can see the results if you have some thousands of test cases so create 40 nodes in 40 different machines okay create hub in one machine and all write the information of total 1000 scripts okay and run and just come to morning and all 40 machines will be running till morning so one node will take one script other node will take other script so 
like that okay basically run test parallelly either in your local machine either in multiple machine to run these in parallel we will use terms like hub and node and configuration all these okay uh, this then the architecture about the grid right so this is basic introduction so now we'll be seeing how to start the hub and what is the command for it and how to start the node and how to register this node with the this hub okay and let's start with the basics step by step we'll build the grid architecture and finally we'll see how to run the steps in parallel way okay uh, 